Today guys, I'm gonna show you how to create this animation in Cinema 4D without keyframe just by using the sound effector. So let's jump in. I'm gonna create a new project here. Let's grab some sphere. Let's make the radius to 161 cm. Segments to 28. Let's change the type to icosahedron. Let's also grab some cylinder. Let's hide the sphere for now. In the radius, let's make it 11.5 cm. Height 25 cm. Let's leave the height segments and the rotation segments and we'll align it to plus Z let's select our cylinder let's press alt on our keyboard and choose cloner so that it's automatically applied let's change the mode to object mode let's unhide our sphere and drag it into the object let's set the distribution to polygon center Click on cylinder in the cups tab. Let's check fillet and bring the ridges to 2 cm. Now let's click the cloner and the MoGraph menu. Let's select sound effector. Just make sure that the, the cloner here, the sound effector was loaded in our effectors tab here. In the sound effector, we don't want the position. Let's check scale. In the Z, let's type the value of 10. In the pole up, let's select spherical field. Make sure you select the spherical field. Let's move this one below and scale this a bit. Something like this one. Let's add another spherical field. Let's put the blending mode to add. And let's drag that one. The top or cloner. Scale it a bit. Let's hide our edges by pressing in A in our keyboard. Click our sound effector on the effector tab. Let's load some soundtrack. Let's extend our timeline here to 600. And play. plane effector. I'm not gonna use the position here. So let's uncheck this one. And what I want is the color tab here. Select fields color. And the pull up. Let's select spherical field from the list. And the color remap you see below. Let's change the color mode to gradient. Color, something like this one. Set another spherical field. Be sure that it is on add. And again, select color mode and set it to gradient. And just copy this one on the first spherical field just paste it
Now let's move this one below our cloner. Let's kill it a bit, something like this one. The other field, let's move it to the top. The only thing left to do, guys, is to add some motion to our spear here. Let's right click and in the animation tag, let's select vibrate here. Let's check in a bold position and let's try something like 20 by 20 by 20 and let's bring the frequency down to 1 let's enable rotation something like 10 degrees on all axis and let's bring the frequency down to 1 Let's make our plane and sound factor here. A child of our sphere so that it moves with the sphere. I render this animation using Corona Render. So here is my setup guys. In Corona Render, I just added Corona Camera. Added protection tag on it. I also had a sky object here. Gonna delete this one. I will show you how to create this. So let's create our sky object here at the bottom. Let's select light material, the texture here. Let's load some image and let's load in HDRI. Then let's drag this to our sky object. Let's fire up our color interactive render. So right now you can see the background, our HDRI here. Let's create new material. The diffuse, let's just add some gradient. Select to the circular let's invert this one uh, first let's create another sky object and then let's apply this one let's select both of our sky object and let's apply corona tags and select Corona compositing on our sky it's DRI here it's, it's unchecked seen by camera and the other one let's uncheck all but seen camera I will also show you how to create the shader here with our field shader. Let's create another corona material. Let's double click to open it. The diffuse tab here, let's the texture. Let's select MoGraph and select color shader. Let's check reflection make the value to 0.85 and let's apply this to our sphere let me delete the old one
be sure that our plane effector here the second spherical pin should be in max let's fire another interactive rendering That's it for our setup. Usually when we are rendering animations, we usually render out image sequences, but since we are using soundtrack, I highly recommend to render out as an MP4. Then on the Corona tab here, usually 8 to 10 is good enough and then turn on the noise corona high quality and then set your output directory here and render all frames so that's it for today guys thank you for watching and please like and subscribe to my channel thank you